Good morning. <clears throat> so I uh, have been talking to some clients and friends lately and something that keeps coming up also, yes, my face is very shiny. It is covered in enlightened oil and I haven't put my makeup on yet. Um, but good morning. So, you know, I started my herbal and nutrition journey out about 24 years ago when I was just a young spry and uh, I did not believe in topicals because I believed that only internal nutrition was what was important for all of us. Um, but by the time I got to the age of, um, I guess it was about 32 or so, maybe even 30, I still had acne. Um, I was doing a juice cleanse once a month. I was eating perfectly, uh, mostly vegan and very almost no grains whatsoever and I still had acne <clears throat> and I was buying weird expensive stuff at Whole Foods that I couldn't read the ingredients on still um, and I still had acne <laughs> so I started making this weird stuff in my kitchen and it cleared up my acne and it cleared up other people's acne and I honestly like I don't even know if I was still totally convinced that um, that topicals were very important. It probably took a couple of years really of me doing this and seeing um, client results and really starting to understand that the skin is indeed one of our mouths and it is important. Um, it's important. But after clearing myself up and so many people around me, even before I started selling anything, I was giving this face wash away that had herbs in it to my friends and their acne was cleared and then someone else and they gave it to somebody else. Um, yeah, and so, you know, what's really come um, into view in this last like few months is me really realizing for myself that it's so funny <laughs> that I started out not believing that any of this could really help anybody or do anything important. But I have like just three people that I've seen this week even who've had to remind me like, oh my God, remember when I had eczema all over my arms and the trunk of my body and like, look, it's, it's still gone, you know, um, they're still using my stuff, but it's gone. And I never thought I could do that. Um, part of this is sort of a, a testimonial into uh, being willing to branch out, I think, and, and try some different things. And then too, that while your diet is important, and I still, of course, I totally believe that, um, very much so, but getting the right nutrition on your skin is also important. We were meant to receive these herbs and oils on our skin. Um, you know, just like we have even found out that dogs being washed all the time means they don't have some of the correct minerals and stuff because we are supposed to uptake a lot of these things through our skin and not just orally. And there are some things that are taken up better through the skin than they are through the gut, which is also super fascinating. Um, magnesium is one of those things. Um, there's a recent study that vitamin E is taken up through the skin and put into the systems of the body. So honestly, every time I put on any of my lotions and my body butter even, I'm realizing that I am taking my vitamin E. And that is nothing to be messed around with. Um, it's important for all cellular uh, functions and of course the health of the skin, but the health of the organs as well. Um, yeah, and then my assistant, one of my assistants at work, our shipping manager actually, who ships all of your packages and then does Reiki on them before they head out the door, um, had um, cystic acne and really pitted cheeks when she first came to me. And yesterday we were sitting outside and it just like really honed in for me that you can barely tell um, that her cheeks are pitted anymore and they're still healing and but it's almost gone. You have to like really, really look hard um, to see that she's ever even had a problem with acne in the past. So um, yeah, it's just a really amazing journey that I've been on over the past eight years. Um, 
again, I've been doing herbs and nutrition for many, many years longer than this. And I used to help people with internal issues and dietary issues. Um, and I still very much believe in that. And I go over with my clients a little bit of like the possibility of food allergies and stuff like that when they ask me about it. Um, it's not something that I tend to broach on my own. But um, yeah, so, you know, if you're kind of in that boat of eating well and feeling like you're really doing the right things internally, that is still wonderful and great. And it's going to help for sure. But there are things that we need topically, dermally to, um, to get us to that next step and that next level because the skin, I believe, like we used to run through the woods and touch the plants and be around all of these things and even soil and dirt is helpful. Um, and we don't do that anymore. So whenever I formulate my face wash and, and things like that and body scrubs, I'm thinking about how I am getting those plants back on your body and we're missing that so badly. So um, yeah, apparently topicals are really important. <laughs> and I never thought that I would be in the business of selling things to put on your body and not selling things to put in your body. But my work is so very satisfying um, yeah, and I just want to reach out to those that are still struggling and thinking um, that there's probably no hope or, you know, you are so frustrated that you really are doing the very best that you can. You're doing your juicing and you're doing this and you're staying away from that and things are still not quite healing up. I will tell you that um, topicals can can really aid and assist you in getting to that last little bit of healing that you need. And sometimes it's it's a massive part of the healing. I've had people that have come in that are on amazing diets and they're still in really bad shape topically. Um, so yeah, this is just sort of a, a little pitch for um, try something different and new, um, go for something that truly is made out of whole plants and whole oils and whole butters that haven't been dissected and extracted and and all of that and see what can happen for you because it's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, I get teary with a lot of my clients. I get a lot of texts and emails about how I have given people their confidence back and like I could not ask for anything more than that ever. Um, so yeah, that's it. You know, what you're putting on your skin is really, really important and it's probably even more important than you've ever dreamed of, honestly. So um, give it a shot, try something new. I don't care if you're making stuff for yourself at home because it is very hard to find a company that's doing things like we are. Um, yeah, that's all. Healing is really possible. I promise that it is. Um, I really love treating acne. I love eczema. I love psoriasis. I mean, that sounds crazy, but whenever people walk in the store, I'm like, oh my God, I love eczema because I'm so great at helping with it um, from children to adults. Um, and the same thing with acne. Most of my clients have done everything. They have tried everything from the dermatologist, every prescription medication, internal medications, external stuff. And most of it is trying to rip your skin off before it's healing it or not healing it at all because it's not providing any actual nutrition. It's just trying to kill, kill, kill. Um, without providing real um, herbal nutrition, whole herbs to the skin, you're not going to ever get very far. Um, you know, things may go away temporarily, but it's not long term. So that's it this morning. I just wanted to talk about that for a minute. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for loving me while I have not done anything to myself yet. So, <laughs> all right. Have a very fabulous day. Bye.